guess what time it is, guys? It's Boxy Charm time! Woo! It is time for the October Boxy Charm! And I'm hella excited because I already got my Ipsy bag like a week ago. So I'm a little surprised that they're a week apart, but we're gonna cut it. So this is what the box looks like this month. The theme is Faces of the Moon. Like the phases of the moon, a part of us is always hidden. This month, embrace who you are and let the enchanting beauty of all your faces show. Remember, you can always be whoever you choose to be. The stars will align in your favor. Let your light illuminate the darkness, charmers. The best part about BoxyCharm uh, is this card is very useful. It lists everything you get in your box along with whether or not it's full size and how much it costs which is very useful. So without further ado, the first thing I see is this little box here. This is a Lord and Berry eyeliner and shadow pencil. It is full size and is $18. Mine is in the shade dark black. Not just black, it's dark black. And if you see dirt somewhere on my hand or my arm, I'm sorry I was at work all day. I work in a warehouse, people. Bear with me. Not always 100% clean, but... Ooh! That went on very smoothly. I like that. I wonder how this will live in my waterline. Next up is a... Ooh! This thing is big. Douche? Douche? And this is the punk volumizer mascara it is full sized and is $24 people whoa it's square that is crazy define lashes one by one making them thicker with spectacular lashes short and long bristles are made for separation and lengthening Okay, let's see what this wand looks like. I'm very skeptical with mascara. It's a very personal thing. Everybody knows this. Whoa. Damn, that wand. It kind of looks like, um, the wand itself kind of makes me think that my MDM Flow mascara had a baby with my Better Than Sex mascara. I don't know if I like this, but I'm not going to try it on as I already have mascara on. So sorry guys. Up next is this little tiny thing that I see. It is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It is a coral cheek and lip stain. I'm not really sure if I'll use this on my cheeks, but I might use it on my lips. that's this would work really good is like like say you're just like going out like real quick out the door you just pop this on your lips and you're good to go I might wear this for work actually and this is full sized and goes for $19.99 Jane half bad oh this next thing I'm oh so freaking excited for this okay this is the cult Cosmetics nail polish in the shade Boneyards. Look at that color. Just look at that color, guys. Oh my god, that gray is phenomenal. I don't own a gray nail polish, but this color is banging. This nail polish color is definitely doing it for me. Definitely doing it for me. And it is full sized and is $12. That's not bad. That's not that bad for nail polish. Okay, maybe it's a little on the expensive side for nail polish, but it's made in California. Most stuff in this country is made in China. Made in California, $12 nail polish in an awesome gray tone. Oh my God. And the very last thing in our box this month is the Palmetto Derma Rejuvenating Antioxidant Mask. It is 
full size and holy crap this cost $64 guys I don't know what I'm smelling in this but <laughs> this is hella expensive like damn unless it is life-changingly good I will not buy one of these because that is a lot of money but now it is time to tally up how much this box cost keep in mind we paid $21 for it so we've got the uh, palmetto mask for $64 plus the punk mascara for a $24 Plus the Bella Pierre Cheek and Lip Stain for $19.99. Plus the Lord and Berry um, Eyeliner and Slash Shadow Pencil for $18. Plus that amazing colored nail polish for $12. Gives us a grand total of $137.99. Hot damn. That's a lot of money. We got like $140 worth of stuff and we paid $21 for it. That's pretty banging. So, uh, if you'd like to subscribe to BoxyCharm, there is a link down in the description box to their website. And while you're perusing down there in the description, maybe go subscribe to Ipsy or go check out one of my social media sites. Uh, always makes me ecstatically happy whenever someone does. And yeah, please like this video, maybe leave a comment on what you thought about it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Okay, this is by the I just think that I'm probably finding an eyeliner that actually stays in my waterline because I think I have like dry eyes. Every time I put uh, eyeliner in my eye, my eyes start to water really bad, especially on my left, my left eye. Is really bad. Uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I had the same problem because I got a lipstick from that brand once. Can you just like? Holy crap, that's crazy. Nice. Oh. What's in this? What's in this? My wallet is crying even though I didn't buy this. My wallet is crying. Because it's afraid that I will. But I won't. <laughs> I will not buy another one of these. Just FYI. That's a lot of money. Yeah, FYI. Like you didn't know.